Hi guys, it's Miranda. Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to do something I guess is technically a little late to the game a little bit. Um, it is now January 17th, I believe. And so I'm a, about almost three weeks into January, so I probably should have done this a few weeks ago. But as you can tell from the title, I am going to do my favorite items that I received in my subscription services for 2016. Um, but yeah, that is what we got going on today. And so if you're interested to see what it is that I liked, I do have all of them in front of me. And I'm going to do them by month. And I will link all of the videos down below for each one of these. Plus, at the end of the video, you'll see on the screen, um, I think it's going to be like right in here, a uh, video for, or the playlist for all my beauty subscriptions. So let's just start with the first month I've got. I have July for BoxyCharm because I didn't start getting them until like, I didn't start filming them, I believe, until June or July. And I watched all of my videos and oh my, has the quality changed in the six, seven short months I've been doing this. But the first one I've got is the Ofra palette the Ofra Z palette and it came with the Z palette and the six um, <clears throat> different eyeshadows in it and here's what they look like in case you haven't seen these and these are in the colors Bohemian Buttercup Smoke Iron Truffle and Millennium Gold now my only issue with these is there's no information on the back. I don't know which one is which, so I can only imagine. I don't use all of these colors, but I do use these two often. I use this one a lot to set my eye primer. And then this one actually perfectly matches my eyebrow hair. So I actually use this one for my brows and it works wonderfully. But that is my one item for July that I liked. August, we've got a few more. Um, in my birch box, I have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina, which quickly became my very favorite shade. I can't even describe this. It is this beautiful, or how much I love it, I should say, but it's a beautiful, like, mauvey, dusty rose nude. It's just gorgeous. The smell isn't bad either. It's kind of a little sweet, but not heavily scented. Um, then if we jump over to BoxyCharm, then I got, by Alouette, I got this Aloe Pure Skin Care, the Time Repair Serum. And yeah, I've had it since August, but I also have a lot of different serums, and I only use this one at night. Then I also got, in, that, in the same BoxyCharm, I got this Beauty For Real um, Shadow Sticks in the color all day latte and i have used this one not as much as i norm as i would like but i tend to forget about it about these shadow sticks when i've got palettes to play with but that's what it looks like there and then also in the boxy charm i got this coastal sense blush and bronzer palette and it came with a brush but the brush was about yay big now it was soft and all but it was just so small I ended up giving it to my youngest daughter, who uses it all the time. Now, there's no mirror in this, but then you get two blushes, a highlight. Um, this one is more of a bronzer, almost. It's got kind of a shimmer, and this is a bronzer or could be used as a contour. I haven't used this a whole lot just because I don't normally grab a palette for blushes, but I like this blush. Now, this blush, blush is shimmer, and this one is matte, but... They're really nicely pigmented because I don't like my blushes to be super pigmented. I, I like to be able to build them. And then this highlight is beautiful. It's kind of a, a matte highlight almost. A little bit of a tiny bit of a shimmer. I don't even know if you can see it. But it's very subtle. And I do enjoy that a lot. Um, and then I think that is... Nope, the last thing I got in my Ipsy bag was the Tarte Tartist or Tartiest or Tartiste, I don't know how to say it, mascara. Now, I really, really enjoy this. Um, 
I don't care for the actual packaging because, yeah, there is nothing there that would, like, no, I don't know what you call them, nothing that would scrape the excess product off. So when you pull it out, you get that. And to be quite honest, I don't care for having to pull it because the first time I opened it, I did it on camera, obviously, and I don't know if you could tell or not, but I thought I broke it. It was bad. But it's a nice product. I do enjoy it. I do use it. Um, and then, let's see, we're going into September. And we'll start with the Ipsy versus Birchbox. I got one item in Ipsy that month that I really enjoyed. And that was this highlight pencil from Trustique. Now, if you saw the video, then you saw when I got it, I kind of made a comment about how I almost thought that this, that there was no lid on it because I didn't realize at first that this was the lid. Now this is, it's very creamy. It's kind of that subtle color. I don't know if you can see it or not. But to me, it works really well as an inner corner highlight. And then I got in my birch box, I got the milk. This was the month of the milk makeup highlighters. And I didn't get to um, the website on time to be able to choose my product because I would have chose the uh, holographic one. But instead, I got just the highlighters, all it's called. It's kind of in the same shade family as the other one. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's much more subtle. It's not quite as in your face as that littler one is. It's still very pretty. They're both kind of the champagne color is what I would describe them as. And then in my birch box, I also got a Kiehl's Under Eye Dark Spot Corrector. That's what this is. You can no longer see it. I do use it quite often. It's I basically rubbed off. The writing on it but I just use a dot under each eye and that's it and I use it only at night and this works really well it's helping to erase some of the dark spots that are still there and they're just not as bad and then in the Walmart versus Target box or boxes I got in Target I got the hydrating derma e hydrating day cream with hyaluronic acid this is really nice. I use this during the day. It's very moisturizing. Um, it's got a nice clean smell. I like it. It's, it's very fresh. There's a hint of sweetness to it, but nothing major. And it dissipates almost instantly. And then in my BoxyCharm, I got my Studio Makeup On The Go palette in Warm Up. I am actually using this on my eyes today. I love this. It's perfect. You get three shimmers and kind of a satin down here. Because we've got this one, this one, and this one are nice shimmers. This one down here is more of a satin. So then everything else is matte. And I absolutely love this. This is perfect. This is an excellent go-to all-in-one palette. You don't need to go to any other palette to do anything. You can do everything you need with this one. And then I also got from Project Beauty, I got a hair dirt, the Strawberry Banana smoothing yogurt hair mask this smells amazing it really smells like you want to take it and just eat it right out of the tube it's just this beautiful fruity 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 scent it just smells so good and i only use this about once every three weeks because i have a few other hair masks and hair treatments that i use so i'm able to make it last a little bit longer all right, so that brings us up to October. And I believe I only have one item for October, and it came in my BoxyCharm. And it's the Temp2 Liquid Bronzer. I actually found that I really enjoy this once I figured out the best way to use it. Um, I do know that when you shake it, because I store it upright like this, I don't lay it down at all, but when, I, when you shake it, the top doesn't seal inside the lid, so there's space. So it kind of gets all messy. And so all I do is I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I use my finger and I dot it where I would normally contour or bronze, just a few little dots. And then I just use my beauty blender and or my beauty sponge and blend it in very nicely. And it gives a very natural, nice looking um, contour or bronze to the skin. 
So then on to November, I got a few things. November was a good month for me, makeup wise. It really was. Um, <clears throat> September was good, but there was, you know, some skincare and hair care in that. This one is a lot of makeup. Now we'll start with my Ipsy. I got two really good items in Ipsy and I'm super excited about both of them. Um, I got the Besame Vanilla Powder. I absolutely love this for setting the under eye. This is perfect. Love, love, love this. And then I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, this is the kind of sample I like. It twists up. This is wonderful. I love this. And this is one that I, I think I would actually consider buying the full size of this. I have learned that I prefer um, more drugstore type products. Don't get me wrong, I would love to have some of the high end, but quite honestly, it's just not in my budget. And so I don't even seek them out. You know, if I get them in a subscription box, great. But if I don't, I'm not going to purchase them. So then in my, um, oh my goodness, what did I, in my boxy charm, sorry, I've just I had a brain moment. I got one skin item and this is from, this is Skin Iceland. And this is the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream. I love this thing. This is amazing. I've used it enough where, I don't know if you can tell, some of the label is rubbing off. But I use this before I do my makeup. Like, I do my, <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness, my primer or my um, toner and my serums and my moisturizer and stuff. And then I put this on as a last step skincare. And it is almost instant. I mean, I'm not kidding. The very first time I used this, I put it on one eye first. And just before I even started the second eye, I already noticed huge difference in the dark circles. However, it doesn't seem, the only downside of this is it's not like it gives lasting effects. It's kind of when you needed effects and then by the next day you have to reapply or do something else because it does not last forever. Another downside to this is, okay, so it comes out of this the tip which is a silicone tip. And it would be nice if the lid had like the long stick or something that goes down into the hole to keep product down so it doesn't accidentally come out or dry out. And then I got from Jessica Liebenskind in the Vintage Collection, I did get a highlighter and this is in the shade Rose Gold. And the camera is not showing how beautiful this really is. The rosiness to this is amazing. And it is so soft. I absolutely love this. It's, but it's a pink, pink, pink. And so if you're looking for, you know, a pinky colored highlighter, that's great. Otherwise it works as a wonderful, as a um, blush topper. And then the other item we got in BoxyCharm was another studio palette, studio makeup to go palette, and this is in the cool down shades. This one's got a little sticky on the edge. And these, like the other one, they're magnetic closures. They're kind of a heavy duty cardboard, but this one is all in plums and kind of rosy colors. And in this one, you got, this is an obvious shimmer, and this is an obvious shimmer. And these two, this is like a satin, and this one is almost satin. And then this one down here, I would say, is kind of a satin as well. Not quite a shimmer. But then you get four <clears throat> truly matte shadows. And again, this is definitely another all-in-one go-to palette. I love taking my two Studio Makeup To Go palettes when I travel. Because I have my warmer shades and then I have my cooler shades. And I don't need anything else. They work perfectly for what I use. Then in December, what am I missing? Oh, one second. Oh my, I almost forgot. In my Soul Theory subscription box, I got, and that was in November as well, I got J-Cat Beauty's You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in the shade White Goddess. This, it's white, but it has it an obvious golden glow to it and this is definitely a standout product right here this is very blinding very very blinding 
I did learn that my husband is not a big fan of highlight because he can see it. And he only points it out when I wear that one because he can see it. So then, let's see, in December in my Ipsy vs. Birch box, I've got the one item I got from Ipsy that I really enjoy is the Essence eyeshadow base and this is color intensifying so it's more of a white with kind of a pinky hue to it so it it's really good at um when you put it on it kind of covers any veining or discoloration you have on your eyelids i really enjoy this and then in birch box i got the r co death valley dry shampoo i absolutely love this if you watch that video you saw that i kept i sprayed it into the cap and i kept smelling the cap it smells so good and then I also, in um, my birch box, I also got the Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel in clear. Now, I use this very, very frequently. It's a nice clear gel. My only downside is the size of that brush. My eyebrows, not that big. But if you go this way, it's okay. Then I did have two products and for the life of me, I went through all of my videos. I'm not sure what I got them in. Um, I tried not to include anything that I may have, like, haul, bo unboxings of products that I purchased, like Elf or Wet n Wild or whatever, and I tried not to show um, influencer items because not everybody is able to get those because you have to do like application stuff. But now that I'm looking at this, I think this one may have been an influencer and you'll have to let me know because I went through all of my subscription box ones and I may have just missed it. But this is the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is really, really good. We use this in my daughter's hair all the time. And this is actually our second favorite for her hair. Her first, our first favorite is this. And I think it's about gone. I have and this one is Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. And I have no idea where I got this. I really don't. But this stuff is amazing. Absolutely amazing. My daughter has very thin, long, super, super fine hair. And it knots and tangles so easily. I mean, all she's got, it. we could brush her hair and then she just moves her hair like this and then she's got knots in the back of her head again. This stuff, you spritz it on there, or mist it on, whatever, and all you gotta do is just brush right through it, and every single tangle is gone. It's magical. I don't remember where I got this to be able to actually purchase a full size, and I have not been into a Sephora or Ulta lately to see if they carry this. But that, yeah, that is amazing. But those are two items that I loved, and my daughter loved, and we can't figure out where it came from. Now I do want to mention a few brushes that I got. I didn't bring them to show um, just because they're really nice to get these brushes in subscription services. Now I have quite a few brushes already but I've got a few that I've gotten through subscription that's just nice to have. I've gotten five Luxie brushes, four eye brushes and a highlight brush and I use those all the time. However, I did notice that my highlight brush, the ferrule, actually completely detached from the handle. I noticed, I want to say within the first week of having it, it was kind of loose, a little jiggly, but I had to glue it back together. I mean, the bristles are fine. It didn't affect the bristles or the top half of the ferrule at all. It was just like the glue was old or something, and it just completely released from the wooden handle. So, something to watch out for. Otherwise, the rest of them I have no issues with. I did get one eye brush from S on This Glam, which, oddly enough, looks exactly like the brushes that I bought from Wet n Wild. They're white with the pink tip on them on the brush, and the S on This Glam looks just like it. And then I did get one brush from Mally, which is nice. Um, it is definitely a fluffy blending brush. I use it clean, and it just... I just use it to blend everything in a lot. And then I got two brushes from Crown. <clears throat> One of them is, it looks like a pencil brush, but I think it was the uh, crease defining brush, if I remember right. And then the other one was just another eye brush. 
And I use... And oddly enough, I had completely forgotten that I had the first one that I received, and so it didn't get touched for a long time. It wasn't until I was washing my brushes last week that I came across it again. I was like, oh, we'll give that a try. We'll see what we think. But that is... That's it. Um, I can see that this video is kind of long, so I will cut it off here. And I hope you enjoyed, and let me know what your favorite items were in your subscription services. And... Give this video a nice thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next one.